Welcome to the Documento Codebase. The Documento Codebase is a monorepo that houses two applications. First, we have marketing, which is the codebase for the Documento website and the blog. The second one is web, which is the codebase for the main Documento app. This app is used for signing documents. Some of the tools in Documento's tech stack are as follows. Next.js, TypeScript, Prisma, Tailwind CSS, and TRPC, among others. You can see the complete list of tools in the repository README. Also, Documento uses TurboRepo to manage the code base. In this video, we'll guide you through getting started with Documento locally. So before trying to run Documento locally, let's see how the code base works. Here you can see the packages folder which contains the share code for both the marketing and the web apps. The core logic is in the lib package which contains stuff such as client hooks, data fetching code that's used in server components, and the code for uploading files among other stuff. Then there is the Prisma package which does stuff like re-exporting the Prisma client, configuring the usual Prisma bindings, exporting types for when we are doing joins and we need specific types, storing the database migrations, as well as other stuff such as ensuring type safety. Then we have the TRPC package that includes the routers for all the documentos API routes that we use on TRPC. Then there is the UI package that uses ShedCN UI and it includes UI elements that are used throughout the app such as combo boxes, input and card elements and so on. The email package is used for sending emails from the application. For that we are using the resend react email. And lastly we have the EE package which is the package for the enterprise edition. However, it mostly mimics the lib package. Most of it, it's Stripe stuff, such as subscription codes for billing and plan limits. Now that you had a brief overview of the code base, let's see how to run the code base locally. Before running Documento on your machine, you must install Node.js and PostgreSQL. And it's important to mention that you must install PostgreSQL version 15 or above. Additionally, you also need to install Docker and Docker Compose if you want to run the app through Docker. There are four ways to run Documento locally. The quickest way is to use Docker and Docker Compose. The second method involves manually setting up everything. And if these two methods don't work for you, you can also run Documento on Gitpod or using dev containers. Let's start by running Documento with Docker and Docker Compose. The first step involves cloning the repository which you can do with the following command git clone and the URL of the repo. Once the repo is cloned, you need to set up the env file so the app has access to the environment variables. You can manually create the env file and copy the content from the env.example or you can run the command cp env.example space env to get started with our handpicked defaults. Once the env file is in place, run npm run dx in the root directory to spin up a Postgres database and an in bucket mail server in a docker container. If you get this error after running npm run dx, don't worry, it just means that the Postgres database is not ready yet. Run the command again and it should work properly. After you finish with that, you can start the applications by running npm run dev in the root directory. You can now access the signing up at localhost 3000, the site at localhost 3001, the blog at localhost 3001 slash blog, and the mail server at localhost 9000. If you don't want to use Docker and you prefer the manual setup, you also need to start by cloning the repository on your machine. Once again, run git clone and the URL of the repository. After the repository is cloned, install all the required dependencies by running npm i or npm install in the root directory. Then, once again, you need to set up the env file. You can do it by manually creating the env file and copying the content from the env.example or using the cp command to copy the env example file and rename it as env. If these environment variables are not set yet, add them in the env file so the app works as expected. 
and the last step before you can run the applications is to create the database schema with the npm run prisma migrate dev command. It's important to mention that you should have a Postgres database running before running the Prisma migrate command, otherwise you'll get an error. In my case, I'm running a Postgres database with Docker, but it's not required to use Docker, you can use something else. And lastly, run npm run dev in the root directory to start both applications. Once again, you can access the applications at localhost 3000 for the signing up and localhost 3001 for the website and the blog. The mail server is available once again at localhost 9000. However, for this method there are two optional steps. The first one is seeding the database using the npm run prisma seed with documento slash prisma command to create some testing data. This command will create a test user and the test document. The second optional step is to generate your signing certificate. You can do it by following the steps from this web page. If none of the previous ways of running Documento locally appeals to you, you can also use Gitpod. Running Documento with Gitpod is as easy as clicking this button. You then have to wait for Gitpod to configure everything and once that's done, you can run the applications. To access the different applications such as the mail server or the signing app, you can go to the ports tab and click on the app you want to open. Simply click on the link and it will open the app in your browser. And lastly, you have the option of running Documento in a dev container. That is, you click on this link and it will open the code base in your local VS Code on your machine. Click the open button so VS Code can open the code base in your editor. And let's also close this notification. Now you can go to the ports tab to see if the apps are available and if you can access them. If you click on the globe icon, the appropriate app should open in your browser. And as you can see, all the apps work properly without you having to do a lot except a few clicks. These are all the ways of running documents locally as of now. We are trying to offer as many ways of running documents locally as possible to ensure everyone can find the method that suits them. Before closing off, I want to mention that we welcome all contributions. If you are looking to contribute to Documento, please check out the contributing guide. And once again, all contributions, no matter how small or big, are highly appreciated. Thanks for watching.